The rules of the match are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages, with one member of each team starting the match. At regular intervals, alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The first member to enter will come from the advantage team. Once all competitors have entered, WAR GAMES OFFICIALLY BEGINS! The match can be won by pinfall or submission. Exiting the cage will result in a forfeit. Now, let the WAR GAMES BEGIN! Introducing first, comes representing the Rick Judgment Morgan. Day from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, the WWE Women's World Champion, Liv Morgan! She is approaching this War Games cage with a look of total confidence on her face. And we know exactly why. Tonight, the numbers game plays in her team's favor. For her, help is on the way. But let's not forget that she has to endure a one-on-one -on -one cage match until that help arrives. She could be out of commission by the time her backup gets there. Oh, I'm not so sure that's in the cards. She's been training for this and planning. She's ready to survive anything to win the war. The EST of WWE. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, one half of the women's tag team champions, Bianca Belair. In all of WWE, there'll be no more dire of a situation than having to start off a War Games match where you'll soon be outnumbered. If this situation is intimidating her, she's not showing it. She looks determined to prove that the numbers game doesn't mean a thing. A lovely sentiment, but the cold hard truth is she's going to quickly get overwhelmed in there. I don't know how long she can endure that. Hopefully long enough for her first teammate to join the fray and even the odds. She treats every match like a title defense. That's how she got to this point in her career. War Games, famously the brainchild of the great Dusty Rhodes. You have to wonder if these superstars are looking to honor his legacy in this match. If you mean his legacy of punishment, then absolutely. Look, Dusty was no stranger to finding... And look at this now, yes, applying the submission hold. Hit tossing her way out of a bad situation. Landing, but she'll get some space in the other ring. Shoulder tackle. Put her in a position now. Oh, tossed aside. Talk about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or stupidity that's going to drive you to try and come back from a move like that. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. It's about to be an uphill battle for one team once this clock hits zero. Pretty drop kick. The holding cage has been open, and we're about to see a bit of a handicap match here, gentlemen. Pinpointing the leg. Looking to give her team an advantage in more ways than one. Tendons and ligaments in the leg can be easily damaged by that. 
She gets launched all the way to the other ring. And I don't like it, but in war games, a one-sided brawl is all perfectly legal. And Bianca had it scouted. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. Oh, God, right to the cranium. Bianca outthought her there. And you have to think there's a little more strategy coming into play at this point in the match. For sure, and that strategy might need to come down to a minute detail. Not just who's competing at what time, but even the types of moves you use. All short-term decisions that will be key to long-term success. Oh! Crafty way to get out of harm there. Hoisted over into the gory special. Could be looking for a submission here. Oh, this is so painful. The goal, and she lets her out of the submission. I don't know if it's Mercy or if it's someone who's not done playing with their prey. Here comes the buzzer. The numbers advantage vanishes with this next entrant. Just one right after the other can't be stopped. And here we go. They're on a mission to save the day and won't be stopped. Just sickening. Ah, oh, she's trying, trying to create space. Oh, now she's looking to apply the pressure with this submission maneuver. Just get it. Hip tossing her way out of a bad situation. Snag eye. Face first into the buckle. I can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. She propels her over to the other ring. Oh, God. Boom! <laughs> big time spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. Bianca Belair. Uh oh. And Belair gets beat to the punch. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Counting down the seconds until this match becomes a bit lopsided. The fall away slam. There's a lot of hard hands to land, but that might be the hardest. Here they come, looking to give their team the upper hand as soon as possible. That's probably not how she wanted to get from one ring to another. Searching out the ring now. This can't be good. And some extra spice to the numbers advantage by coming in arm to the teeth. She just went catapulting across that gap and into the other ring. Planted face first. <laughs> Bianca Belair with the power. If you're on the opposite side of this entry, you are racing for a fight. Cargill now on the offensive. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Able to get the advantage here. Muscling up her opponent. You know what's next. K.O.D. Jax looks absolutely good. A submission. The glory of this. She releases the hold. That's a little surprising, no? Mere seconds away from... Look out! Demi and Lipsky with Chopper, complete shot. It's first. They could have this one. Oh, my God. Free from the cage, and now needs to make haste to even up the fight. Ooh, dropped right on their face. This is just establishing dominance, followed by a stop. Turn your skin red. Meanwhile, it's Raquel Roderick. Ripley left an opening. Oh, Rio went down in a heap. Whoa, she just chucked her over to the other ring. Back suplex. Break that up. 
the advantage after a string of counters. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. The pillars of this building must be... And Raquel Rodriguez with an epic Tejada bomb. Raquel... Big cargo. Yeah, no point to get up. The EST hoisting her up. We've got a numbers advantage incoming as the countdown is about to run out. Effectively using the knee. We've already seen a few shots delivered up in that region. Bursting out of the cage. Take off. Oh, she misses the mark. Mm. Giving her team the advantage, but she's looking for her own advantage now. She's starting to climb up the wall of the cage, but I have no earthly idea why. As if the numbers advantage wasn't enough, looking under the ring for a weapon now. Oh, no! to the situation. Well, that'll do some serious damage. These superstars have torn away endlessly, and this crowd is on their feet in full appreciation. An incredible sight to see. Mommy saying playtime with Raquel is over. Oh, we know what's coming up next. Ripley's got her hook. Rip time! Can Raquel come back from that? She goes flying and lands in the steel line trenches. Just a good old toss to the left. And the hesitation before leaping off the cage could have been costly. The well the hesitation could be the literal downfall. We're seconds away from these teams being at even strength. Every person in this capacity crowd is on their feet. And with good reason. These superstars are earning all of those. The power of Bianca Belair.
myself the same question. toughest test you can face here in the WWE, and they passed it with flying colors.